Outside of the quarterback, the elite pass rusher is the next most coveted position in the NFL. It's the reason why Miles Garrett went first overall last year, why Joey Boza won the top three a year before that, and a big reason why Jacksonville gambled on a guy like Dante Fowler back in 2015. This year, the hot edge rusher is Bradley Chubb out of North Carolina State. He's a big, long defensive lineman who many teams really like at the top of the first round. He clearly has strength and bursts off the line of scrimmage, but his three-cone time and his hip flexibility is making some people nervous. In my opinion, while Chubb does have these concerns, I feel like he has enough talent to become a great strong side defensive end in the pros. In the NFL, his skill set would fit a number of teams. I can see the Colts taking him at number six, but I could also see a team like the Giants or the Browns taking him early as well. As a prospect, Chubb is very strong and has a good foundation of skills. He has a non-stop motor and he consistently attacks and chases down ball carriers. He has a good burst off the line of scrimmage, but he sometimes struggles to turn the corner. I also feel like if a good pass blocker gets their hands on him, he doesn't have counter moves developed either. Based on these traits, I still gave Chubb an early first round grade in this draft. Looking at his film, North Carolina State mainly lined him up as an edge defender. He was usually in a 9 technique or a 5 technique on the outside of the offensive tackle or tight end. He switched sides based on the defensive call and he didn't always line up against the opponent's left tackle. For example, when North Carolina State faced Notre Dame, he rarely rushed against Mike McGlinchey. To be fair, this is completely reasonable considering that McGlinchey and left guard Quentin Nelson are extremely talented, but in the limited number of times that Chubb actually rushed off the left, McGlinchey won the battle on the field. By my tracking, I actually only counted one time when Chubb beat McGlinchey around the edge. It was on a screen pass where Chubb showed off his excellent burst and tore around the edge to level the quarterback to the ground. But outside of this one play though, Chubb did most of his damage against tight ends and the right tackle instead. In my opinion, while Chubb obviously has strength to create leverage, he has to do a better job of stringing moves together. He has a variety of moves, including a speed rip around the edge, a bull rush to collapse the pocket, and a swim move to get on the inside shoulder of a blocker, but if his initial move fails, he struggles to gain penetration. Learning the counter moves to his main moves will be especially important for his development. With that in mind, I think a one-arm stab with an up-and-under finish will be his moneymaker in the NFL. At NC State, I really only saw it once or twice a game, but I feel like with this excellent burst off the line of scrimmage, he could absolutely destroy with this move at the next level. Now, one of the main concerns that I mentioned in the beginning of this video is that he doesn't have the best hip flexibility in order to bend around the corner. He ran a 7-3-7-3 cone time, and for a pass rusher of his size, this is simply not good enough. The elite edge rushers are much more fluent in space, and I unfortunately think that will limit his production. If I was to predict his average sack production per season, I would honestly put him in the 7 to 8 sack range. Of course, he does have the raw talent and motor to beat that in a given year, but I just don't share the same upside as others have noted in their scouting reports. Moving on, and as a run defender, Chubb is very smart and usually does a good job of creating leverage on the edge. For almost every play I watched, he tracked the ball well and did a good job with his assignment. I feel like occasionally he was a bit too aggressive versus power runs with pulling linemen, but for the most part, he was a very sound defender. Finally, and for his pro comparison, I see a lot of Chris Long from UVA anytime I turn on his tape. Chris had a great career in which his effort and strength in the run game consistently allowed him to make plays. However, outside of two seasons with the Rams, Chris was never a dominant pass rusher in the NFL. Yes, he did get pressures and he was a huge asset for his teams, but I feel like his overall game is what's going to turn him to a good player as opposed to being a dominant sack artist that many are convinced he'll become. Well, that's all I have for you in this one. On my Patreon account, I have my full big board with all my grades so far this season. In addition to that, I've also created two mock drafts for you as well. The first is without trades in your typical format, while the second one featured some of the trades that I think could happen on Thursday night. Here's a sample of both these drafts side by side. If you want access to this content, make sure you click on the link below. Just a $1 a month donation will allow me to keep creating these videos for the rest of the offseason. Thanks again for watching, and you can follow me on Twitter at SamuelRGold.